This is 14 Days to a Renewed Mind, Day 3. We are ditching resolutions and embracing transformation. This one is a bit of a mixed bag, but good. For the most part, I advise that none of us ever take advice from anyone in Hollywood. But occasionally, something honest and vulnerable comes out and it catches you off guard. Earlier this year, I caught this interview with Shia LaBeouf by Jonathan Bernal on his podcast, The Real Ones. And I am convinced that Shia went through some stuff and is now embracing a faith in God. Check this out. My purpose, and I mean this with every fiber of my being, is to be instructive with my life so that I can be a an advertisement, like a billboard for a principled way of living. Every night before I go to sleep, I pray for all my cheerleaders and all the naysayers. Mm -hmm. And then I ask God to give these people everything he would give me. Like my life is now, I have experienced ego death. I got so much love in my life, so much joy in my life. Um, fearlessness that I didn't have before, you know, um, a calm, a serenity. Um, my life is full and it's not full of like the stuff that I was chasing before. I'm not here to like find my way back into nothing. Those people who don't get down with me, they probably never will, you know, uh, to say that I don't love the craft is not true, but it's secondary to this other thing I got going on. Cause this is all temporary mm -hmm. and I don't want to get too far into this route, but like People may not forgive me, but I know that I have been forgiven, you know, and I know that I am loved. And when you really know that in your fiber and on a cellular level, then what people think about you, you know, like, God bless them. It's not that it don't matter, because to say that, like, I'm blessed in that I am in the public sphere and that people do have judgments about me. I, I'm blessed for the judgments. They keep me in line. want to point out some amazing things from this interview. Number one, be instructive with your life. In Ephesians 4.1, Paul wrote, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. To me, that means to live a life that is an example to others. Number two, pray for your cheerleaders and naysayers. Never let the criticisms go to your heart and never let the praise go to your head experience ego death. That one was key. Jesus said in Luke 23 that to truly follow him, you must take up your cross daily. We must die to ourselves so that we can live for him. Number four, be fearless. That does not mean to be foolish. It means to walk in the confidence that we have in Christ. Joshua 1.9 says to be bold because God is with you. And number five, even when people haven't forgiven you, you can know that God has. 1 John 1 9 says that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. There is a lot in this one. Maybe listen to it a couple of times to let it sink in. We are starting off 2024 by taking 14 days to ditch resolutions and embrace transformation. Make sure that you are following for more. The Nook Podcast is a production of Sozo Digital Media.